Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you like small gnomes, I've got a cute little ski gnome for you today. He's only six inches tall. He's super easy to make. If you want to know how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're going to start with a four inch um, styrofoam cone. Go ahead and poke some holes in the bottom till you can kind of get through it with your heat gun. And then I'm going to take a stick to finish it out. It worked a little bit easier and I'm just going to put some five sixteenths inch weights in here to glue it in. That's what's going to give him his balance. Just push them as far in there as you can and then go ahead and glue the other one in. And then I'm going to take a cutting board and I'm just going to kind of smooth it out so that I make sure that it is flat. Then I'm going to take some fabric and I'm going to draw a circle around the base of it. And I'm going to cut my base, I'm going to cut my circle out a half inch past that line. And I'm just going to glue this to the bottom. And go ahead and cut your circle out around it with leaving about a half an inch on the on the outside edge. And then we are going to glue this straight up to the styrofoam cone. Okay, next we're going to come down about an inch and a half on the top edge. And we are going to draw the shape of this cone onto this fabric. So as you're turning it, you're going to mark it with a pencil or a pen so that you can make sure that you can cut it out and it's still got a curved edge. Just kind of roll it as you're going. And then go ahead and cut that out and you're going to cut right on the line that you just drew. And then we're going to hem up the, top, the bottom edge. Just about a you know quarter inch edge. And you can use whatever kind of fabric you want. This is just a cotton fabric that I bought at Joann's, but you can use anything. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue down one side to give it a nice finished seam on the side. Okay, then we're just going to attach our um, cone right to the very edge of this and start gluing it all the way around. And you're going to finish on the edge that you glued. So the finished edge is what the, that edge is right there. Okay, next we're going to make a hat. And it's 7 inches long by 5 and a half inches wide. Fold it in half. Come up about an inch and a half from the bottom and curve it up to the top. Then we're just going to go ahead and glue it together. Just go down one side. Fold it over and glue that together. And let that dry real good. And then I'm going to make a cuff. I'm just going to cuff it up. And we're just going to make a one inch cuff on this and then go ahead and glue it in. And I'm just using a red fleece on this. You want to use something that is kind of a stretchy fabric. Otherwise, you'll have a hard time turning it right side out. And I'm just using pliers to turn it right side out. Then I'm going to go ahead and push it up forward for the tip. Okay, now I'm going to do the beard. I'm cutting it at one and a half by one and a half. And I'm just going to go in a U shape. I'm drawing it on my um, fabric. And I'm going to cut behind the faux fur only all the way in a circle and back up the other side and clean off the excess fur. And next, I'm coming down an inch and a half from the top. And that's where I'm going to attach my beard. Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of fabric that's seven inches by one and three quarter inches and I'm going to hem up the long end. And this is going to go around the hat. This is just going to kind of dress it up a little bit and I'm using the same fabric that I used for the body. And then go ahead and fold that side down as well till they meet in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and hem up one side as well so I have a finished seam in the back. Then I'm going to run a pipe cleaner up on top of the hat so that it will bend. Put a little spot of glue on the pipe cleaner and then we're going to go ahead and attach it to our gnome. Just kind of pull it on down there. Okay, 
and then we're going to put our trim right around the center. Just kind of find your center point and go ahead and glue it in. This is a cute little gnome for like a tiered tray because he's small. Okay, next I'm just going to attach a little 10 millimeter bead for his nose. Now disregard the earmuffs that he has on there because I changed it up. I don't know how I ended up having this already done like this. Now we're going to make some earmuffs. We're just cutting a piece of pipe cleaner about an inch and a half. And I'm taking some little bitty pom-poms, about half inch pom-poms, rolling them in my hands to get them a little bit more fluffy. And then I'm going to just glue those to the bottom of each one of those um, pipe cleaners. Just kind of put it on there flat like that. And then do that to both of them. Then we're just going to stick those right up into his hat. Just kind of slide it right up underneath there. And then we're going to glue those in. And then just make sure that your pipe cleaner is hidden. Okay, then I'm just going to add a half inch little pom-pom to the tip of his hat. Okay, for his arms, I'm going to take a two and a half by one and three eighths inch piece of fabric and I'm going to hem up the short end and then one of the long ends. And then I'm taking a pipe cleaner to fit right inside of this. So you just cut your pipe cleaner the exact same length after you get all your folds done and your, and your hems done. Just cut your pipe cleaner so it's the same length. And you're just going to run our pipe cleaner down one side, the unfinished side. And we're going to roll it up into the finished side. I'm just going to add a 10 millimeter bead to the end of this for his hand. And then do the same thing with the opposite side. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and add his arms and I'm going to go ahead and glue in his earmuffs. So I'm just going to put like a dot of glue right there for the earmuffs and then I'm going to slide the arms up underneath there as well and glue those in. Okay, you're just going to slide them up right behind the earmuffs and you want to make sure that the hand is almost just right at the base of, the, of his body. And then just put a little bit of glue up inside and glue those in and do the same thing with the opposite side. Okay, next I got these skis at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take them apart. I got these last year and then I'm going to sand all the shiny stuff off of them and then I'm going to paint them and I'm going to cut them short so it's just about the size for his feet. So I'm cutting off about um, almost two inches off of these and that's about how long you want them by the time you get done. About like that. And then I'm just going to paint them with some bright red paint. Okay, next I'm just going to take some furry trim and I'm just going to go around the top part of his hat. Right above his, um, the buffalo plaid that we put on there. And then I'm going to do the same thing around his um, hands. This is a thicker trim and it just, if you pull, uh, pull it apart, I can get just little pieces of it. And I'm pretty sure that I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make the, the boots. I'm taking two sticks, quarter inch by six inch, and I'm going to cut them to two and a quarter inches. Okay, and then to make his boots, I'm just going to take a, a ball of black oven baked clay and I'm going to roll it into the shape of a log. And then I'm going to cut off the end of it so it's smooth, and then I'm going to cut them at about one inches in length. Or actually, they're a half inch in length. And then roll that into a little log, make it kind of straight like it's a, the top of the boot. And then we're going to go ahead and put our stick into it. So this will be the top part of his boot. And just go ahead and put your dowel stick in there. Kind of put it in there as far as you can get it. Just make sure the two are straight and the same height. 
And then we're going to use some oven bake um, clay adhesive to put in here to um, glue them in. Just kind of make sure it fits the um, fits the stick. It hadn't opened up a lot because sometimes it opens up a little bit when you're playing with it too much. And then we're going to bake these at um, 275 degrees for about 25 minutes. Okay, now that that's baked, we're going to take another piece of um, oven baked clay and we're going to roll it into a long log, a thin one, to go around the top part of the boot to kind of close that in. Just get those smoothed in good. Then we're going to go ahead and take a ball, roll it into a, another piece of clay, roll it into a ball, kind of roll it into a log. And it's kind of curved on both ends, so we're just going to cut this right in half. This is probably another half inch, and we're going to attach it to the front of the boot. We're making snow ski boots. And just squeeze it up onto there until it's smoothed in. So you'll have a rounded edge at the top. And then do the same thing with the second one. Then we're going to decorate them up with um, some little straps. And then we're going to go ahead and bake those at 275 degrees for another 25 minutes. Now those are baked. We're going to go ahead and add the straps. And we're just taking a gray oven baked clay. And I'm just going to roll it into a real thin little log. And I'm going to cut the little straps out of this. Just kind of get it thin because you don't want it too thick. And then we're just going to cut half inch little slices out of that. And we're going to put that around the front part. We're going to put a couple of those on the front part. And then we're going to put some on the side as well. Just kind of get them blended in good. And then we're going to put two in the front and two on the side. And then we're going to bake these again. And you only need to bake them probably for about 15 minutes at 275 degrees. And then you can do exactly the same thing with the other boot. Okay, for my skis, I'm just going to take a piece of um, painter's tape and I'm just going to put it on both sides of this. I'm going to make a stripe right down the center of it, just kind of close to the edge. And I'm just going to use some white chalk paint to do that. And you may have to paint it a couple of times just to get it completely covered up. And then go ahead and remove your tape. Okay, for his legs, we're going to take a piece of two inch wide piece of fabric by one and three quarter inches tall. We're going to hem up two of the long sides and one of the short side. And when you get done, it should be about three quarters of an inch wide. And do the same thing with the second one. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and wrap it around the top part of the boot and just make sure that your seam ends in the back. And then just go ahead and glue that in and do the same thing with the opposite one. And put a little bit of glue at the very top just to hold it to that um, pin. Okay, next we're going to attach them to the styrofoam. Just put them both on equal sides in the middle, kind of space them out good. Okay, then I'm just going to test his balance real good, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue his legs in. Just put some glue right up into the styrofoam and just stick it right on in there. And do the same thing with the second one. And to attach them to the skis, I'm going to use some E6000 glue. And I'm going to use a little hot glue as well. Because you want to make sure that they stay on. If you're going to sell these, you want to make sure that they do stay on. Okay, next I'm going to attach the ski poles. And you're just going to have to trim them down. So just kind of put it up to your gnome and kind of trim it exactly where you need it. I'm trimming the top part and I'm going to trim the bottom part as well. But you just want to make sure that they are just long enough just to touch the skis. And we're just kind of bending his little hand around them is what we're doing. And once you get them exactly where you want them, go ahead and glue them onto his arms and kind of bend his arm around there or his hand around there. And then I put one of mine towards the back and one of mine towards the front. And you can glue them to the skis once you get that done. Okay. 
Okay, this little guy turned out so cute. If you like the small gnomes, this one's six inches. It would be cute on a tiered tray. You could customize this one so many different ways. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to give me a like. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the video.